Alrighty guys, welcome back to ARK where today I'm actually going to be going and redoing the Alpha uh, Overseer today. Now if you're wondering what I'm packing, I'm packing a good uh, almost a thousand pieces of ammo. I only brought me 300 element because I don't want to lose so much. I could technically craft it up into the transferable element. Convert it to, yeah. Convert it into transfer bell element, but I don't want to worry about that. So I figured I would just bring them to mount. I'm comfortable with losing. I mean, that's like one brood mother fight, and that's really easy. So, but I got me ten serratos, got me two deodons, and a utai, and an acro. Now, mind you. The Utahs and the Deodons have been added into our genetic library, along with these bad boys, the Car Cars. I was able to get them fully leveled up and just fully like decked out with really good stats. So I wasn't too worried about their health. Main thing I tried getting a lot of points into was their stamina. Um, their melee also I did not really worry about. I was focused on stamina for this guy. Because I don't want to have to run out there and then sit there and wait and wait and wait. And, as well, you might be wondering, hey, why aren't you putting down your creatures and lining them up and getting them ready to go in? What we will be doing here is the cryo glitch, hopefully. There's a little area inside the cave where we can actually pop cryopods that's way down in there. So, let's do this. Let's pop that. It's going to start us up in Alpha Overseer. And we are going to pop our first Cactus Broth. Now, the reason why I'm using Cactus Broth is because it lowers my water consumption. And on top of that, it makes it so that way wildlife will notice me less. And like a glove, he fits. Now... There is one little thing I would not concerned about, and that is the terrain disappearing like it did on us last time. Now apparently this is, that's actually a very common thing for to actually happen to people while doing the tech caves. Or at least it was a couple months ago when I did it. I'm thinking they might have actually got it patched since then. As you can see here, we got a lot of creatures already chomping on us. Luckily, the car car here can shoot through them. That is a level 620. Okay. Damn. What is it? Ah, oh, there's a Prolovia that popped up behind me. Sorry as well if I am not talking so much. Um, I'm trying to also focus up more on like the content I make. So that's why I'm kind of not talking. I'm going to only like really talk when I need to. When it's kind of more important, I'm not just going to ramble. Um, although one thing I am currently worried about right now is maybe I should have thrown on Love Evolved real quick. Just for the doing the tech cave so that way I could pop a box of chocolates here towards the end or middle to fully heal this man because I feel like we might run into some problems here although we might be fine I feel like he's got a re oh he is healing damn all right I guess you're, like, insane. I wonder how Goku is then. I'm still leveling up him. Goku is my own personal, uh, car car. You know how we got the Giga named Vegeta? I got me a car car named Goku. Now, I guess I've just decided that all large carnivores are going to be named after Dragon Ball characters. Because then I also immediately afterwards named my personal acro Piccolo. 
And I also named my personal Utai Krillin. I don't know. I don't know what, what's with me here recently. I just thought that'd be funny or a good idea. There's a Utai. We are, look at that. We are sending out damage. Some DPS. This is weird. That is an Alpha Rex. Damn, he dropped fast. I guess once you get a car car up to a hundred, they are beasts. Terrorbird. He was pooping. This is, like, insanely easy. He's pooping. I mean, technically, I don't even have to fight these guys. I do got the cactus broth on right now. I should be able to s walk right past them, especially as a car car. Yeah, look at that. So maybe I can sneak by them all and get down to where my, uh... One area is. As long as there's none, like, directly in my path that I'd have to step on, we should be good. Um, so kind of right in this area is where I need to pop them, I believe. Or it might be on the other side of this bridge. If I'm not sure, I will pause and check. And if I can absolutely confirm, like, hey, this doesn't work anymore, we're just going to go for it. Because I'm absolutely certain we should be able to do this. I don't know, though, if the car car can go into the actual Overseer fight. I think it's going to get left behind and die. Um, although I might... Should I? No, because that, that'd be pointless. This thing was insanely level, easy to level up, technically, because all I did was feed it a bunch of gigas, and uh, I also fed it a couple car cars as well. Daimas were the, actually the best, in all honesty, because I guess those things count technically up there with the giga. What is my hearing burning? Is something... Something's in the lava. That's what it is. Okay. You know what? I'm... Yep, this is right where I need to be. Get myself a cleared area here. There we go. Terror birds are next. Okay. Um. Oh, I was thinking about just moving ahead a little bit to make sure it was clear. That's a giga. Let's kill this before we even pop anybody out. I gotta go into this. I can't see with the bleed effect. Maybe. I get on his right. We should be fine. You know what? This gig is actually doing very little damage to us. It's the bleed effect, though, that's causing a lot. But we got more damage than he does at the moment. What level was that? Level 60 giga. Okay. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. I honestly thought a giga might take us a bit longer. There's something below us eating our feet, I'm pretty sure. No, he was pooping. Okay. This is the moment of truth. If this works, we should be fine. This might have been patched. Can't use this here, can't use this here, can't use this here. Oh, 
this might have been patched. Oh no. Okay, you know what I'm actually going to do? And I'm going to pick this up. Oh, I actually can't even do that here. Can I do that at the very bottom? I'm going to just try and see if I can cryo him at the teleporter gate. Maybe not. Oh. Maybe. Because what I'm planning on doing here is just... Uh, what I'm going to do... Because I want to I wanna do this proper. I want to try and get him down and uh, back into a cryopod. And then what we're going to do is just ghost out through the door and do this properly. Okay, maybe, hold up, maybe I can do it in here. That's an aloe. I didn't think it would chase me in. Look at their pathing. It guided them right into me. Okay. I'm going to try and uh, figure out a way to get the car car out of here. I think I might just go ghost him through the door, in all honesty. That's my option now. Just run back and ghost him out. Alrighty, guys. I got everyone lined up and ready to go. We're going to hopefully make this quick. And... There we go. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Uh, for some reason, on my single player here, when I hit that, it doesn't consume it. Oh, Acro, you're in the way, you chubby boy. My Acro's too close. I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Acros can turn in place. Is it the Utai? It's the Utai. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. I got the Utai move there. Now, I got this guy in. We are going to go down to about here. And now we're going to run back and get the acros. Oh, let's not do that. Damn. The lighting. The lighting about killed me. Yeah, no. Acro. Acro's going to move here. I just got to get him up and around that pole. You are going to get stuck because you're not a genius okay I'm gonna have to ghost again dang it okay I got the uh, you tie in looks like all I have left is about two minutes then uh, this one is we got to go slow sadly I can't sprint with Serratos or they uh, their pathing glitches See? I entrust them. I can't see a thing thanks to the fog. Damn. We wait. We got a minute. Then we walk. No, no, no. You know what? 
I don't know what to do here. Actually, I do. We're gonna... We're gonna bunch up this line. Because I'm pretty sure we got everyone in that needs to be in, right? Everyone's inside. Yep. I'm so going to lose a bunch of Ceratosaurus here. I'm not going to lie. I might lose a bunch. Um, but I think it's good. Uh, what I need to do right now is just kind of uh, secure me some safety. Okay. Looks like... Um, you know what we need to do here as well? Because all I have in my hotbar is cryopods. Almost forgot to uncryo pod my hotbar. Okay, and we're gonna pop a cactus bra. Did I get it? No. Hey, you stay here. What I'm gonna do is now run back and pull everything forward and try and straighten out my Ceratosauruses. Okay, so I got the Utai, the Acros, and the Pigs. I feel like technically those five right there would be decent enough for maybe a, an easy or beta overseer. But the Serratos here, they are needed just for the cherry on top. Sorry, I don't normally sprint. But what I'm trying to do here is pull the five Serratos that are in this chain of them out. Uh, do, 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 do. Don't let it get over 12%. That's the rule. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I don't think I should have done that a second time. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Let's go get this last chain straightened out. Okay. I got them all straightened out. They're in a chain. I am comfortable with how spaced off they are now. What I'm going to do is take Karkar, kind of battering ram forward, make sure everything is clear here for a bit. What I want to do is make sure everything's clear down here to the bend. Okay. Now we advance once more. Okay. Got my last group here. I've combined the five chain of Serratos into a ten. Hopefully nothing goes bad. Worst case scenario... Worst case scenario, the one I'm riding is set to aggressive and charges in after a T-Rex that falls into the lava and then the entire chain chases after him. Uh, I've had that happen before. That actually happened in my ASE run with a bunch of Krylophosauruses, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, that wasn't fun. I'm wondering if a huge chunk of this is still cleared out from when I took the car car and just ran through. And was hoping that I could use the car out pods. I'm pretty sure that is what has happened. But I might be wrong. That Therizino there did spawn in, so maybe... a. Maybe something else spawned in. I don't want to risk running into a Giga. Okay. The chain of... Car... car not Carcars. Serratos has stopped moving. We are gonna... Go down here. And... We're gonna kill all these dinos. No. 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 Game. No. 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 
every single last one of my creatures just has to have fallen just through the map there. I can't turn around to look until all these things are dead. Finish all this off. I'm just... I don't want to turn around right now to look. I, uh... really hope we're fine. We should be fine. See, we, we're fine. Okay, I can't see them. Are we fine? Okay, we're fine. We're, we are totally fine. Oh, sorry. I kind of started getting a little freaked out there when the, all the ground around us disappeared. Because last time we did the Overseer fight, that happened, and every single creature we had fell through the map, and I just got so angry, I raged my way through the entire fight, alright? Out of just pure spite. I was like, you know what? I got me an acro, and I got me a shotgun. We can do this. That was full on our goal. But I did have to spawn me in, or I didn't have to, but I did spawn me in a box of chocolates. As you can see there, I also have the Utai following the acro now. That is just so that way uh, I don't have to worry about transporting them so much. I just have to worry about grabbing two lines. And then I'm going to tell you this though. Once we teleport, uh, we are absolutely adding the Serratos all to follow the acros there. And then I'm pretty sure the car car is going to get left behind. So, I originally thought about bringing Goku. That's what the plan was. But we would have lost him. And there wouldn't have been any... Well, I think there would have been a way to get around that. And it would have been by killing him. And collecting the bag that we get after collecting his corpse. Or harvesting his corpse. That contains his soul. So, so technically we could revive Goku. I just realized what I was about to say, and that is in totally Dragon that's totally in Dragon Ball fashion. Goku sacrificing himself and then we just revive him later. You know? Just the mulligan. Okay, time to hop back on the car car and battering ram forward. I guess it's not technically a battering ram, but I don't know what else to call it. We're we're using him to clear the way. Make sure that we have a clear path. Clear and safe path. Oh, I'm gonna hate this part. Okay. I need to get... Everyone to here. I'm not joking, there is a huge chunk here where there's just nothing. What the hell happened? Um. Wow. Looks... Oh, you got it. Okay. I know exactly what happened. And, uh, it's scary what happened. Okay. I'm not joking. My Serratos could have gone anywhere and I could have lost them. Oh, that's not fun. We got to straighten out the acro pack here. Hopefully the Deodons slip on through. Yep. Okay. 
I'm gonna get these guys almost halfway and then turn around and get the Serratos up in line with them then hop on the Acros and take the Acros further I'm just worried I might have somebody run off a cliff because of that stuff cause uh alright the new AI pathing is great and all but the ge geometry physics with all the rocks on the ground um yeah, not the best thing for auto pathing. Because it like if one of those things clips a rock and it decides or well one of their paths clips a rock and it decides, you know what? I got an easier path around this and it loops them around the long side that takes them into the lava. Yeah. Also, I I just realized I've basically brought these guys the whole way. I'm missing a day on. No, I'm not. I'm just I'm just thinking I did. Okay. Parking it. And we'll wait. So, the next area that we're going to bring everything up to after we get the Serratos down here is going to be the area where I try to pop the cryopods. And then we'll advance and clear all the way up to the cave. And then we'll move everything onto the teleporter pad. I heard something there. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was the geyser. Or the magma vent. I've recently, like as in the last 10 seconds ago, established a rule. No sprinting with the Serratos in this section. There's too many cliffs, too much lava. I can lose a huge chunk of them. Like, it's not even funny. Okay, I'm in the sketchy part here. This is where I feel like I might lose some guys if I'm not careful. I'm going to try and hug that wall, but that's also dangerous because their auto pathing could launch them. Oh, okay. I don't like that. I want to make sure nobody got caught on a corner back here. What happened to you? Why is your... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to give everyone food, including the Deodons. And I just realized it, because all I did was just pop them out of cryopods. And hope for the best. Okay, what I will do, and all I will do, I was really hoping not to have to spawn in anything. You know what? No, I'm not going to do any, any of that. Screw that. No, we're going to do this legit. I forgot the meat. You know what? We're going to go without the meat, all right? We can do it. We got Serratos, all right? The thing is with Serratos, as long as they got that blood ability on them, they should be able to have almost infinite health. And they should also melt. You know what though, as well, as well, as well, I also just realized, I do got meat on me. I got the best meat. The highest quality meat. The freshest meat. Straight from the tech cave. Boom. All right, now we're good to go. We'll hop on the car car, advance forward, and make sure things are clear. This is the path I'm going to want to take. This is the straightest and easiest path. I don't want to have to loop and curb around things. But I also feel like this could be the dangerous path just because of the lava. That one Parno is gone. Like, like he's gone. He fit flying into the lava. What is that? Was that my Utai? Or a Utai? It's a Utai, okay. I gotta clear this whole area then. No. Oh. That Utah actually almost pushed me into the lava. No. 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 Oh my god. I didn't expect to actually be almost able to push me. 
we got some knockback, but after every knockback, I have a couple second cooldown. So maybe it's not best to do knockback until I have my full adrenaline. I gotta push forward against these guys, damn. But then that's the problem as soon as I clear a path. Oh, we're at 92, 98. We got this, look at that. We gotta get this entire area clear before I advance. You know what, I'm honestly not surprised, like, I don't know why. I feel like a couple of them would have been good to throw in and have start spawning in the tech cave. Serratos, all right? I've seen Carnos, no Serratos. Maybe they do, and I've just gotten lucky, because I think those would technically put up a challenge for the car car here. Okay, we're gonna, this is right where I was. So, what I'll do, so we'll advance forward, kill all this stuff here, especially the Prolovias. Advance back, go get the Acros, and then pull everyone forward. There's a Giga and a Car Car. Uh, and I will have to kill them to get by. Now, I will say this, I am absolutely using the full hour it gives me to do this. By the looks of it. Okay. Let's go run back. Okay. Serratos have been advanced. Just got attacked by a micro raptor. We're fine though. Shotgun slaps. What we will do now is we're gonna actually, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna clear the path fully. Hopefully, I can hit a hundred on my, uh, what is it, is rage meter here for the acro? Sorry. I was trying to remember what it was called. Maybe. I've angered the Giga. I need to kill that aloe. Aloe die. Aloe die. Thank you. Now you face me. I'm betting it's level 60. I think that's all they, they spawn at. Gigas in the cave. They might spawn higher. They could spawn all the way up to... Oh, I hope they don't spawn all the way up, all, all the way up to level 600. That'd be insane and stupid. Level 65, yep. This car car is the only thing I'm worried about. I think I'm seeing blood. Yep. My man stopped to poop. Which, uh, does not matter. Okay. I think we got it. Now I just need to run back and get all my stuff. I'm gonna point jump here. This has been the quickest way to get around. Okay. I almost ran right off the cliff. No. No, you guys did not. Okay. No. No. You tie. You tie. You tie. Come here. Okay, I thought he was fully in lava. 
thing. What I need to do is have you go there. Get out of my damn way. I might have to guide them because they're stuck. Yep, you're good. Okay, got to go get my car cars. Not car cars. Uh, Serratos. Okay, this is going to be stupid. Got to hurry, got to hurry, got to hurry. Sorry, I need to make room for the entire pack. Here they come. We're going to stop right here. One, two, three. Come on. Oh, they're looped. Okay, I got my Serratos fixed. Sorry, I just dropped them down the cliff. I thought that saved me a couple minutes. Uh, it probably did not because I had to keep on running around. We are going to break our no running rule until, boom, we're going to stop here. You do, you guys are kidding me. The corpse, really? The corpse is affecting their pathing. We're going to try and just lead these guys, the Serratos, in as far as possible. We're going to stop here. And... Boom, boom, boom. I'm pretty sure they're all coming. Yep. This is the wrong acro. I'm going to run them up. Okay, I got those guys all up there. I think what I'm going to do here real quick is we're going to run the Serato up. Because I don't know. He might come with us. I'm pretty sure he won't. I'm absolutely certain he won't at this point. But we... I. I wouldn't say I'm absolutely certain. I'm 98% sure. But there's still that 2% that like, hey, he could. You know? May as well just because you never know. Okay, let me angle myself perfectly here. Not to launch myself over that way. That's the quick way down. Okay, I'm not going to lie, this was actually a lot easier moving them around. Okay, let's uh, bunch them up. Macros, you are not helping. Five. Okay, now all you guys come over here and we'll park you up against the car car. We still got 20 minutes. We should be fine on time. Last guy here. I need food. We'll pop that. That's probably our last one that we're going to get for a while. We're going to swap to Battle Tart. Not Battle Tart. Uh, Shadow Steak in Battle Tart. We're going to combine those two for uh, during the Alpha Overseer fight. Boom! Teleport me, baby. I'm pretty sure everyone is in the ring. They should teleport. Yes. Okay. Looks like everything teleported. Except the car car. Like I thought. Just like I thought. As you can see though. We popped us right here. In the observation deck. I guess that's what, would, what it would be called. The... Uh, the boss room observatory, I guess is another name I would give it. My acro is stuck.
Hope there is an acro stuck in Lego City. Eh. You know what? That wasn't as funny as I thought it was, but I still might give some people a chuckle. I'm working on it, alright? My ancestors were German, okay? We can't be funny. What did I just whistle to? Damn. There we go. Got him. This acro here needs to be adjusted. No, no. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just loop around. Now he's following me. I'm thinking maybe I should just walk through here. Just to be safe. You never know. The Serratos look like they were at a good distance from the Utah. But, I don't know. I'm gonna get over... You know what? I'll get over here to the next major room, and we'll check on the line, make sure it's good, and then we'll go to the boss room. Okay, looks like everything is running perfectly. Or following perfectly. But, you know, that could always change on me. You know, you always got that one, like, weird spot in geometry. And especially with the acro directly behind me, I feel like it, it feels weird. Acro following an acro feels weird. Like, it just feels like it It doesn't turn as tight as it does when you're riding it, you know? Because I feel like it's also slightly turning in place as I look to where to go, you know? And that's probably what is making me feel that way. Oh, look at this. I love this part right here. <laughs> it's a little weird watching it, like, with a... A sideways acro view. Alrighty, I uh got me a screenshot. I thought that looked cool. But now, now it's time for the boss fight. So, as I understand, this should not start until we get off of this top little lip area up here. This upper area. Which I'm on right now. Now, we're not going to go any further than that spot of yellow for a second. And, uh, Acro will just hop off of you. And, uh... Yeah, we're good. We're good. We got them, like, right in the doorway. As soon as I walk forward, boom, the chain starts following. Okay. Once it starts hitting, I'm going to hop off and whistle everything neutral. Okay, one last thing. Gotta activate Deodon's passive healing. Now, I go into aerial mode. They're going. Look at the Serratos just rip right on through. Oh, don't get hit by the laser. Don't get hit by the laser. He's firing his laser. I love my new shotgun I got here. I've cranked up my drop rates. Um, I might drop them back down because I'm starting to feel like I'm getting a lot of broken. Uh, like just over... Overly powered guns, like unnecessarily overly powered, you know, that kind of deal. Um, you know what I forgot to do? Uh, Utai, auto courage.
I shouldn't do this, but I got it. Do it, my man! Oh, I should probably focus on these things. I'm on the anti-air. They're on legit screwing him up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I feel like I am. This shotgun is... Well, this shotgun also has 133 skill bonus. So, maybe it's not that bad. It's originally 180. That's kind of what I feel like it should be with skill bonus. Also, why is nobody getting auto... Don't hit me, please. I missed it. I missed it. I missed it twice. I'm trying to find him. If I can get the Utah, I will just start auto couraging. This is probably the best time to do it. Okay, I'm hitting C. Boom, baby. Is nobody getting buffed? That's not good. I got stunned. I'm not seeing people get boosted. I don't know if that's a good bad, good thing, bad thing, or just something that's supposed to be happening. Probably best to load the shotgun. Look at them demolish him. That's why I wanted the Serratos. The acros help a lot, especially with damage overall. Do they wait, do acros did I just see that correctly? Did they also heal not my acros? Did the Serratos also just heal my acros? Or did I see that miss like that wrong? How's your guys' health doing? You guys just got healed, so yes, absolutely. You know, let's not waste the ammo on that. Let's reload. We're gonna wait for the drones. I'd rather have to deal with them. Where are they at? There they are. There we go. It's like skeet shooting. I know I probably also just pronounced that wrong, and if I did, I'm sorry. Like, I feel like it's a 25% chance I got it correct. take some pot shots here at the boss as well. May as well. You know what I should do? Take pot shots at all that. Oh, never mind. As soon as the Serratos target them, they're they're mince meat. I feel like more and more of these spawn if I remember correctly. Not feel, but remember. Yeah. That's the right word. Okay, so the Utah is auto couraging. I have eight minutes remaining. Oh no, that's my overall time from the cave. Never mind. I mean, I'm pretty sure though we might be able to do this in eight minutes. Don't stop my army! Even though we left the heaviest terror behind. They probably did that so that way you don't one-shot your way through the Overseer, you know? Some reason why you can't bring in a Giga. It didn't stop these Acros, though. Acros are essentially a Giga for boss fights. 
That's what they were atten that's what they were updated to be as well, if I remember Garuga correctly. I am in his Discord and I do tend to hop in and watch uh, some of his streams every now and again as he puts together the creatures. Uh, I haven't lo I haven't seen what the last one was, but he did. I'm missing something. Oh, there it is. You know what? Hey, you come over here. Hey, guys. Do I have to legit get it over here to hit you? I'm doing my part. At least I think I am. Watch me actually just be shooting my acros in the head. There's aberration. There's scorched earth. Can I see my house from here? That does not look like anything like scorched earth from here. I could not see my... I couldn't even see my massive train... What did I just whistle? I whistled passive. I gotta get the... Nuisance off me. Okay. Let's get some altitude here. Just so we have a... Come on. There we go. What we'll do here is... Well, bam now. Whoa, we got a lot of speed on us right now. I think as long as I keep moving and don't bump anything, we should be able to maintain it. I think we lost it. We lost a good chunk of it. Also, the timer went away. Uh, I think that's a good thing. Let me, uh, armor's still good. Sorry. One way to check it. Okay, 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 okay. Ow. Why are these guys spawning in blue now? They were originally spawning in red. Where did the boss go? Oh, he went dragon mode. That's a problem. Actually, it's not. Serato should start melting and heal. I'm pretty sure they're heal. Oh no, they're they're not healing faster than the fire damage. And actually, they might now, as long as he doesn't breathe fire. Come on. Ah, that's a problem. Because that fire does more damage than it does... Uh... I'm actually worried now. I hate the fire. guys I'm seeing blood which is a problem you know what I forgot to give myself I feel like I'm shooting faster now There we go, there we go. Have I lost any creatures? Does not look like it. Serratos, how you looking, blood-wise? You're looking good, you're looking good. I don't think they were taking as much damage as I thought they were. Now, in all honesty, the only reason we're doing the rematch 
is uh to get the Bob's Tall Tale. And technically, I should have done this on the beta because this is the last. That's actually the last one I need to do for the achievements on Steam. And I mean, I may as well. Well, not technically. It's a uh, beta overseer, and then it's also the center. But the center isn't out until Tuesday. Tomorrow, boys and gals and fairy tale things. Sorry, I just had to cover all my bases. All right, guys, kill it. Ah, he's balling up. I'm pretty sure he's gonna go into a boss. He's gonna pick one of them. Or he's gonna spawn me in more nuisances to deal with. Oh, my Utah's over there just owning it. He's on his own, too. Serato's coming in for backup. I feel like the color of the... Yeah, look. These guys are red. Why are these guys red and all the other guys blue now? I know. I need to learn the hotkeys so I can just... Oh, you know? What's shooting me? Oh, maybe the swarm. Right now, I just have to shoot and I'll hit something. Is that a corpse landing on me? Luckily, he went with Gorilla. That is the easiest one to deal with. I'm missing acros. My acros die, or did they just give up? No, let me die. I don't know why I said don't let me die to my acro. It's not like he has power over that. Come on, we gotta help them with the damage. We're so close. We got it! Yes! Got it. That was awesome. You know what? It feels really good doing it the proper way and not the easy way where you just hover up at the ceiling with a shotgun. Oh, this looks so good. You know what I could do as well? Give me another screenshot. Alrighty. We should be teleporting here soon and getting our ascension. Also, I'm pretty sure that there is scorched. Still don't see my house. That's Ab. It's the island. You can see the three arcs. We teleporting? Or am I getting left behind? No, we teleporting. Nah. Next time you guys will see me will actually be right after this episode because I got to go over to Scorched Earth and finish something off and then we'll spin the wheels and I'll explain more to that here after the Bob's uh, Tall Tale cutscene. Is this what happiness? There we go. New one. So there I was, whizzing through the sky, when this sparkly lady flies right up alongside me. And she tells me, Bob, you're the greatest guy ever. You have to stay alive so you can save everyone. How are you supposed to save a whole world all by yourself? 
Well, now, I did have a little help from my friends. Little Miss Professor here, and the Doc there. But maybe that's a story for another time. I mean, you gotta have some chores to get back to, right? I already did them, I swear! Great. Guess I'll just, uh, keep retelling these true tales about Bob's amazing adventures. Yeah! Woo! <sighs> that is the whole thing that we just did the Overseer fight for. I'm not joking. We did that for that that singular uh, explorer note. Alrighty, so I'm going to explain what we're going to do here now. Since we have ascended off of the island, and next episode we will be on the center, I decided I'm going to implement some rules here. Now, we already know I am not allowed to come back whatsoever to any of the maps like scorched earth or the island until i have beaded like beaten beaded beaded beaten whatever the word is beaten the center bosses on any difficulty mind you not hard or anything just any difficulty all right that's all i have to do but i figured i'd make it little interesting here so as you may notice here on this spin wheel we actually have a couple creatures now you will immediately recognize their names like larry blossom Shred well you won't recognize shredder uh thor uh you won't recognize mondo either uh krillin's my utah kevin you know my guys uh these are all my named creatures that i have popped out from the genetic library all right, so these are my good creatures, but I've also thrown in some no, no dinos where I just have to opt out of not having a dino. So rules here for the center are I'm not allowed to come back at all, and I'm allowed two creatures of the randomness of it, though. So we'll go. We're spinning. Come on, give me the anomalo. That's what I want. Emerald? Ooh, Littlefoot. Okay. Mobile base then, maybe. So Littlefoot is the number one creature that we're bringing. Okay. We're going to respin here. So it's Littlefoot and who else? Blossom, Blossom, bl Yes! 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 I ain't going to lie. We got a dream combo. This is, uh, this is a dream combo, honestly. Only thing I can complain about is that the only thing I really was hoping for was Blossom and the Anomala Carez, so that way I could immediately hop in and start exploring the water. But unfortunately, we missed out on the Anomalo and we got Littlefoot instead. And I think maybe uh, no, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it because I feel like it's gonna make the series interesting if I start with a platform saddle. Because that's all I'm bringing with me. I'm bringing his platform saddle. All of his attachments are going to get left behind. But yeah, I figured this would uh, this would help spice up the series here a bit. So yeah, anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys get notified upon me posting new videos. And of course, I do have one last thing to say. As usual, I am currently running a YouTube channel member's goal. As you know, we're trying to get 10 members on our YouTube channel. We're currently sitting at two. It is $1.99 to join. And once we hit that goal of 10 members, we will be opening up an ARC server. Now, I was originally hoping to have it hit 10 before the center dropped, but fortunately, it does not look like that has happened. Uh, but again, if we do hit that goal, uh, soon as the goal is hit we will be launching a server with the center or uh, whatever the other modded map is because that's what we're planning on doing the servers on is modded maps or well modded official maps but yeah anyways this has been gun chimore signing off peace <laughs>